Here's why chronographing your ammunition is one of the most vital steps you can take as a long range shooter or hunter. The majority of the ammunition companies that we have available to us today are going to give us a box posted muzzle velocity. This velocity is derived in a ballistics laboratory, generally under very controlled environments and often with test equipment. Your individual firearm, your barrel length, your bore diameter and tolerancing, even the finished surface treatment to your barrel is going to dictate up or down from that muzzle velocity posted on the box. Using a simple tool like a chronograph though, we can find out exactly what your rifle's printing. So, we have Hornady's Match Ammo, which is 140 grain ELDM, 6.5 Creedmoor, box posted velocity of 2,710 feet per second. Let's fire it through this Ruger RPR using the Garmin Zero Chronograph and find out exactly what this rifle is printing. So we can see that our three shot average gave us 2,621 feet per second with a standard deviation of 3.4. What we know is that's extremely consistent ammunition. However, the muzzle velocity that this particular rifle is producing is considerably lower than the box posted velocity. So why does this matter? If we were to take this information and run it into a ballistics calculator and come up with a firing solution for long range, that compounding interest, that velocity discrepancy is going to show up as error while we're shooting at a distant target. The further out you push it, the more of a difference it's gonna make. To 300 yards, that 100 foot per second or nearly 100 foot per second variance isn't gonna make that big a deal. But if you plan on running a rifle like this with ammunition like this, that is certainly capable of great accuracy out to 1,000 yards and even beyond, that will catch up to you. You will see that error compound.